Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of Say Beauty. I got a bunch of new products from them and I did get these during the Sephora Spring Savings event. So I'm super excited to be trying some of these products out. I did already try about like maybe three things out of this line, but I decided that it'd be probably, probably be a better idea if I did a full face as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to use is a Say Glowy Super Gel Star Glow highlighter and as in the first impressions that I did this in my try new makeup, I love the way this is felt on my skin. And I am going to use a Say Beauty little kabuki brush that I got and this is just going to go all around my face just to give me that overall glowy complexion and one pump does go a very long way with this product as well and usually i do use like a blurring primer but today that's not gonna be the case i'm gonna try not to use a blurring primer all right now i am gonna go in with the glowy super skin foundation is shade 8 this does have 1.0 fluid ounces and i'm gonna shake this up really good and i will have like the prices of each product on the screen for you so you guys can get like a general idea of how much these products are and also i already have my opinions on this foundation and so far i've been absolutely loving it i feel like if you are those type of girlies that love that no makeup makeup or pink girl skin you will definitely love this foundation and it does also do a good job of hiding like acne scarring which i do have on my forehead and you saw that one pump covered basically my whole face i do have to say though if you do have a little bit more like problematic skin you may not like this foundation also if you have super super oily skin you probably won't like this as well what i do since i do have like oily to combo skin i use pressed powder and loose powder to double set my under eyes because that's where i typically get oily now i'm gonna use the hydro beam brightening plus hydrating under eye concealer um anti-crease it says apply desired amount under eye and around the eyes tap with fingers to blend here is the actual bottle itself it has a pointy doe foot so this is the first time i've seen this kind of doe foot before and honestly i'm not expecting too much coverage out of this i did get the shade hb1 plus half we'll put it right here and then i am gonna try using my finger to blend it out i also want to see that what this claims that it does so give me a second and so it says it has a ready finished liquid formula hydrating without silicones clean plus plant positive light coverage a lightweight coverage concealer clinically shown to visibly hydrate, brighten, and smooth skin while creating an all-over radiant finish. It says how to use clean and prep skin as normal. Apply slip tint, dewy tinted moisturizer, sunscreen, so separately. First to get sheer tint tinted SPF 35 coverage. And then using the cone applicator tip, dab, or swipe anywhere you want. Under eyes, nose, mouth, or directly onto blemishes. Use your fingertips to gently tap and blend until the formula melts into the skin. So I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to zoom you in for that. Alright, so let me use finger to blend. It does feel pretty jelly. I mean, I covered up a little bit, but you know, I like a good a full coverage concealer but if you are one of those people that love a light under eye or don't have dark circles then you probably love this stuff i don't really see this being able to cover up blemishes it just doesn't look like it will do that just because of how lightweight this is but it does look pretty hydrating under my eyes but i feel like this is something i'm not gonna be reaching for a whole lot now to set that, I am going to use Airset Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I did get the shade Translucent. There's three shades in this line. And it's this radiant finish. Quilty free, fragrance free. Best for oily combo normal skin. Also clean. 
A weightless and translucent lip powder made with unique air cream technology that sets, smooths, and diffuses for a radiant finish. Uh, twist, open the sifter, tap some product into caps, roll it with a safe, fluffy brush, which is sold separately, or your favorite powder brush and a cap, working the powder into the bristles so it's evenly distributed. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Here is the loose powder. Okay, so I do like the idea that it has a little thing to open and close it so your powder's not going anywhere. I'm going to take some of that product on the back of the cap. I do have to say, though, not a lot of this product's coming out. Okay, I think that's a good enough amount of powder that I need. To set, I'm going to use the Real Techniques 201 brush. This is a powder brush. It says to press to evenly coat the bristles, so that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to go all over my face. Now this does say it has a radiant finish, so I'm kind of curious on how this is going to look on my skin. I mean, it did modify my skin. And I can kind of see little radiant particles it says it has. Let me swatch it. So there is that powder. I don't know if you can see the little radiant particles it has. It's very minimal. I can see it more on my finger. I don't know if my camera's picking that up. But it kind of disappears once you blend it in. So I'm hoping that's what's happening here. So I am going to apply the cream bronzer, which actually does really well over powder too. So I am going to use the Say Beauty bronzer. This is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. This does have like, I believe, a brush that you can buy with as well. Yeah, it has the big buffing bronzer brush. But since I didn't get that, I am going to use the base foundation brush to bronze up my skin because they pretty much look identical. Except for the other one looks a little bit, the brushes look shorter and a little bit more dense, but that's about it. And then this cream bronzer was $32 or is $32. You guys see how easily and beautifully this blends out even with this foundation brush. And despite that I put powder down, it looks really nice on the skin. Now, since I did get the Glowy Super Gel in a like duo set with the blush, the full size bottle is $28 and the mini I believe is $16. And then for the set, the duo set, it is 30. So you are getting a good amount of product in each thing. So next thing I'm going to try out is the Dree Blush in a shade Rosy. And here is the applicator. It's pretty big. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Rare Beauty blushes. But we'll see how easy this blends out. All right, I'm going to use the Makeup by Ariel A24 brush and blend out this blush. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use the same foundation brush as well to blend it out. But I wanted to try this out. Wow, that is pretty. And I loved how easily that blended out. That is so nice. My skin looks so glowy and healthy. Like it doesn't look like a rotisserie chicken style. It just looks like a nice glow. I like that shade a lot. And now I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I did pick up the Brow Butter Styling and Volumizing Eye Gel. Eyebrow gel. And this was $20. Here is the packaging. Pretty sleek. Let's look at that wand. This is so freaking tiny. I wonder how it's gonna look. This does have four different colors. Blonde, clear, medium brown, and deep brown. And I believe I got deep brown. 
brush this through my eyebrows. It says it's an oil-based pomade with a buttery texture, plant-based fibers that lift, fluff, deliver light color payoff and to create a feathery natural looking brow. It says use the tinted shades to create feathered and more defined eyebrows. Apply throughout your eyebrows in upper motion following hair growth. For a deeper for the look, apply many coats. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do to see if this actually makes my eyebrows a little bit more fluffy. So I do feel like it come through my eyebrows pretty nicely. And I do see a little bit of the fibers, mostly on this eyebrow. I think I would let a little bit too hard on this eyebrow, but it still looks good. And this one looks good as well. I feel like I could have gone a little bit more heavy on this area of my eyebrow. But I can't complain. It looks nice. But I do feel like this isn't going to hold your eyebrows in place if that's what you're looking for. So just keep that in mind. All right, so sticking with the eyes, I didn't get the mascara. I did get the mini size, and this was $16. It's a mascara 101, thick, bold, lifted lashes. I believe the bigger size is $20, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 26 So here is the mascara. Here is the wand. Also, I'm curious to see if this mascara will transfer under my eyes. I feel like sometimes I get that problem where I'll just wear mascara and then all of a sudden I'll have like a smudge under my eyes and it turns into like if I have a black eye. It does look nice, but honestly I feel like that my L'Oreal Telescopic Lash Lift Mascara does a way better job and that's drugstore mascara. And keep in mind that I did get this as a mini size as well. So imagine buying this a full size and it just giving you very minimal payoff. I don't know, I just, I can't justify buying this mascara. I mean, I'll use it and it's giving me a little bit of length, but I wouldn't see myself really reaching for this one as much. I feel like the drugstore has way better mascaras and for a cheaper price point. I mean, it did separate a good amount of my lashes, don't get me wrong. Like, it looks nice. But I feel like other mascaras do way better. So there is my lashes. And then lastly, I have the Lip Blur Matte Blurring Lipstick. I did get the shade Modern. And this was $24. And it says that it has, it has a hyaluronic acid, the stick formula, matte finish with that silicone's full coverage, a comfortable, billable matte lipstick for a soft focus to full coverage look packed with nourishing ingredients for to hydrate and smooth lips. Just uh, swipe across lips, repeat to build for a more intense look, re reapply throughout the day as needed. And it says, say artistry tip, lightly dab and blend in with fingertips for a soft blur finish. So here it is. Here is the color that I got. I didn't expect it to be that pigmented, but that is nice. And it feels super comfortable on your lips too. I like that. This is nice. And it's not giving me that crazy, like, raisiny lip feeling on my lips for it being matte. Alright, I'm gonna zoom you guys out. Alright, so this is the final look. I do love the way that my, my skin looks. It looks super nice and hydrating. My under eyes, I can't complain. They look nice. There's a little bit of darkness in the inner portion of my eyes, but other than that, I can't complain. The powder did do a good job of making my skin look set, but glowy at the same time, but not to the point where I look like a glazed donut, which is awesome. I do want to see how this lasts throughout the day, so I will leave like a little bit of a description down below so you guys can check that out. Other than that, I do love all the products i've tried out i hate that i love it so much i think the only one that i'm a little bit iffy about is the say concealer you know i can always use a little coverage if i want more of a little coverage i'm just so surprised i love the translucent powder and for it being a little bit of that glittery um sheen type of look it looks nice on my skin i can't complain about that it looks really nice the blush is phenomenal the bronzer i love you can build it up as well if you wanted to. 
everything else gets like a thumbs up from me. I love the way my skin looks. It just looks healthy. I love it so much. I definitely feel like I will be switching these products over my Merit Beauty Stick, which means a lot because I love my Merit Beauty Stick. But we'll see. We'll see who wins the test. Alright guys, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Comment down below what you guys thought about these products. Is this something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!